Hi! Today I want to talk about one of my favorite film directors, Hirokazu Koreda. Hirokazu Koreda's films to me are like the closest thing I've seen to a live action Studio Ghibli. And I'm not talking about the supernatural elements of Studio Ghibli, like Spirited Away or Magic Rabbits. I'm talking about the more realistic, observational films of Studio Ghibli, like Isao Takahata's Only Yesterday or Yoshifumi Kondo's Whisper of the Heart, where, side note, Whisper of the Heart is my favorite Studio Ghibli movie tied with Princess Mononoke, but those are video essays for me to write another day. Because Hirokazu Koreda is a virtuoso of the mundane, an expert at capturing the quiet minutiae of everyday Japanese lifestyle. His films often rely on unspoken pauses, or setting a camera at a removed distance so that he can let a scene unfold naturally by itself. Hirokazu Koreda is probably currently most famous for Shoplifters, where he won the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival in 2018, much like how Parasite did in 2019. But today, I want to talk about my favorite Koreda movie, Our Little Sister, also known in Japan as Umimachi Diary. Our Little Sister is the story of four sisters. Three of the sisters grew up together, but at a young age, their father abandoned them and ran off with a mistress, with whom he eventually had a fourth daughter. And this movie begins with the funeral of the said father, and the three sisters meeting their fourth sister for the first time. And this entire movie is basically just two hours of watching these four sisters live together and go about their everyday lives. There's a genre of anime called CGDCT, and it stands for Cute Girls Doing Cute Things. And this movie is kind of like a live action adaptation of that, except these aren't girls, they're women. And so for an adult like me, that is so much hotter. Like, like these women have jobs and shit, and, and I have a job. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop. But yeah. This movie is more than just watching pretty people do their laundry. It's a movie about life. It's a movie about grief, about quietly handling past trauma. It's also a movie that celebrates the small wonders of life. There's so many subtle yet joyful tidbits in this movie that make you nostalgic. These include playing in a soccer match, eating freshly caught white bait fish on toast, making plum wine, or bicycling with your crush through a tunnel-like grove of cherry blossom trees. This movie, like many of Koreda's movies, it makes you yearn. It makes you yearn for the act of living, and also for Japan. I don't think any movie has made me long for the Japanese countryside more than this one. But something to note of Koreda's filmmaking style is that while his movies are incredibly observant of human behavior, they're almost never particularly emotive. They're usually careful and reserved in how they express themselves, choosing to express feeling not through screams or bursts of emotion, but rather through quiet glances, through small gestures. Because it's only when you huddle your ears close that you can hear the smallest of details. Although. When it comes to having a lack of bouts of emotion, I think Our Little Sister is the one Koreda movie that has some leeway in this regard. And the difference isn't because of the characters or the plot. It's because of the soundtrack. The soundtrack was composed by Yoko Kano. And yes, I'm talking about THE Yoko Kano. For those who don't know, Yoko Kano is the composer of Cowboy Bebop. And if that alone doesn't convince you of her musical brilliance, then I don't know what will. But yeah, because of the soundtrack, while the characters are still reserved in typical Koreda style, there's such a strong emotional undercurrent because of the score. There are so many swoons and swells and sweeps and swiffers. Uh, but yeah, here is a movie where the violins, the strings, the notes, they carry out and ooze the feelings that can't be said. Now, for those of you who've seen a few of my videos by now, you can probably tell that I am a very expressive person. 
I'm very effusive and I'm a huge proponent of being able to express my emotions. And I think that's why the soundtrack alone is why this is my favorite Koreeda movie. Because the soundtrack is hugely responsible for much of the emotion in this film. And the other reason I like this film is because it's so pretty! Like, it's so pretty! Ah! <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, Our Little Sister is a movie about life. About pretty people living their lives. But it's also a movie that is primarily about forgiveness. I don't want to spoil the movie, but a central theme of the plot is learning how to process pain. Pain that is not immediately apparent, but sits in our minds like a faint cloud as we go about our daily activities. And it's about taking the leap forward to confront this pain. To me, this whole movie is a chronicle of the healing that comes about with the absolution we receive after confronting our pains. Absolution of the feelings lingering from the hurt we receive from others, but also the hurt we sometimes give ourselves. And so yeah, all in all, Our Little Sister by Hirokazu Koreda is one of my favorite movies ever. It's a movie that I wish could have gone on forever. I was so engrossed in watching these sisters sit around living their lives and like, I wish I was there! Like, why couldn't I be there? Why couldn't this movie be called Our Little Sister and Adopted Vietnamese Brother? That would have been an excellent movie. The most perfect movie to exist, in my opinion. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have to give major props to Haruka Ayase, who plays the eldest sister, Sachi. She conveys a delicate balance of poise and anguish so well throughout this movie, without seeming overly melancholy. All the sisters in this movie act incredibly well, but Sachi's performance in particular was the most moving for me. But yeah, I love this movie. I've watched it multiple times, and if I had to give it a rating, I'd give it an A+, 10 out of 10, perfect movie. I will warn though that this is one of Hirokazu Koreeda's more optimistic movies. And so if you watch this and think, oh, this was so heartwarming, most of Koreeda's other movies are a lot more sad. <laughs> but if you are in a sad mood right now, I can guarantee that this is a movie that will lift your spirits. And not in an overly energizing or emotionally exhausting way. It's a movie that can comfort you like a warm cup of tea or reliving some fond childhood memories. Or it's like, for a few hours, having a sister 